My name is uh, Marcus Izagari. Most people call me Coach Izzy or Izzy. I currently coach football. I'm the offensive coordinator for the varsity football team. I coach basketball. I'm Kevin Olson's uh, assistant on the basketball team, and I am also the head girls track coach uh, for Auburn Riverside, and I also teach language arts, ninth graders and 10th graders. So what did you want to do after high school? Uh, originally, I just it was all about money for me. So I seen people having nice cars and nice houses and condos and all those type of things, and I was very intrigued by the finer things in life. And so I, I feel like I wanted to uh, aspire to attain those things, and so that was my path. So initially, I went to a, a junior college to play football in Northern California. And uh, while out there, I decided that I really didn't want to do that because I didn't like Northern California, number one, and number two, it was kind of cold up there. And so I decided to come back home and I uh, enrolled at Highline Community College because at the time uh, I was told that I was either going to go to school or get a job and I was not going to get a job. Didn't want to do that at that time. I was, you know, 18 years old. And so I was taking a few classes at Highline Community College and a guy by the name of Milton Lang came up from uh, Washington State University and said, hey, I've got a, a program that's called Future Teachers of Color. If you'd like to join that, uh, I could get you into Wazoo. And so we did some behind the scenes talking and I applied and I ended up getting into Wazoo, and so I ended up taking that path. Well, at Wazoo, uh, I was involved in a bunch of different things, and I realized that during the time that you do your student teaching, it would affect what I was trying to do. And so I changed my major in the middle of it, and I started doing communications and marketing. And then from marketing, I ended up getting a job after I graduated in HR. I used my uh, marketing skills to... Uh, get a job in HR and I started uh, hiring and firing and things of that nature and eventually I ended up getting hired at Regents Blue Shield who does uh, all the benefits and I ended up being able to wear a suit. I had a corner office, I had office assistants and I was making a lot of money. Um, and at the time I was also coaching football on the side and I realized at that time that it just, it just wasn't fun. And so I ended up going back to my old high school to try to find a uh, one of the teachers that was there that was very influential I mean, just asked him, you know, hey, how can I get a master's in education? How can I become a teacher? And in that process, I seen uh, some of my football players, and I was like, hey, man, you guys got to get to class. And the principal, actually at the time, who was the principal of school, she said, hey, how'd you guys get them to move? Or how'd you get those guys to move? Because they never, they don't listen to anybody. And I said, well, you know, I'm their football coach. And she said, well, what are you doing right now? And I said, well, actually, I just quit my job as the human resource director. And she said, well, I need a dean of students. What is your background? And I said, well, I, I got a bachelor's degree in marketing and communications from Washington State University. She said, you're hired. And so from that day forward, I began being the dean of students and I, was, uh, I helped her with various things in the building. And from there, I ended up getting rolling in a, um, a, se a post-secondary uh, or a secondary master's program uh, for education, myself and uh, Coach Thomas. We both actually enrolled in the same program to become teachers. And so I went through that program, got my master's in uh, secondary education, and then started teaching. Well, uh, originally I, I was attempting to play football and uh, uh, ended up not working out because I just had so much things going on, so many, so many different things going on. I wanted to uh, kind of focus on my education. And, uh, you know, football, I love football a lot, but I just it wasn't a priority to me. And so I decided that getting my degree was more important and I wanted to make money. I didn't like being a broke college student. And so my, my mind was more geared towards getting money. Gotcha. Uh, I, I would tell anybody who is trying to, uh, who aspires to do anything is ju just to go do it. Just go, if you wanna be an electrician, if you wanna be a, in beauty school, if you wanna go to college, just go do it. And just know that there's multiple different paths that you can take. Everyone's not gonna take the same path to get to where they are today. I would say that sometimes if you take the longer road, you might be able to find yourself a little bit more and actually find out what you're trying to do, uh, but not, not to give up. So I, I would tell you, tell these people, tell these students, tell everybody that they should just follow their dreams and just understand that everybody gets to where they're at by taking different paths. My favorite part of teaching is the kids. I love building relationships with kids. I love joking with kids. I like kids to clown on me and make fun of me and to have the back and forth banter. I think uh, having the relationship with the kids and being able to be around them, they keep me young, they keep me laughing. Um, it's probably my, my favorite part of teaching.